donuts, but they see some Korean cat down the street. And if you Korean listen to this, I ain't jumping on your race, partner. Y'all just heavy in the game on the West. You know what I'm saying? So don't get it twisted. I don't got no problems with none of y'all cats like that. But you know what I'm saying? They selling donuts, and these cats look like they just putting it in the in the oven or dropping it in some grease and putting sprinkles of, of sugar on the top, and then they making money. But an egg head come into the game, and he see nah, you know. Man, you know, you know how many of the machines gonna cost, Freeman? Man, we can't, you know what I'm saying? We can't make chips like that. I mean, it's like a 50 grand to put down on. You know what I'm saying? How they come up with the 50 grand? You know, somebody loaning the Koreans more money than they do the blacks out here on the West, you know? But that's a lie, partner. You know, admit to yourself when you come into this game that some people are faster runners, homie. I mean, I got to admit that somebody come into the game and they bypass me in my house. I got to sit back and say, man, they, that that cat right there, he about his man. I got to, you know, that's a little bit too West for y'all saying about his main, but he, he, he about it. You know what I'm saying? And, and I got to sit back and admire the hustle and say, if this cat is out here at four in the morning baking donuts so you can come over here and give him one dollar for one donut and some coffee and be about your way in an angry way gotta admire the hustle because he willing to do it but a lot of y'all cats are unwilling and this is why it's hard to get people who graduate from college to start a business because they forgot hustle they forgot it somebody came in there and told them if you get past your general education requirements and your basic curriculum then you'll go into your major and once you get out your major you'll be able to go ahead and have a successful career as the third third uh uh uh, chief cruster in rotation at uh, Dunkin Donuts this afternoon and you'll be the regional manager of it. They forgot hustle. That's what we got in spades, partner. So, so like that person said in the email earlier, talking about it's impractical. It's impractical because hustle is not practical. You see what I'm saying? To set up all your whole hustle and to get everything up and running is an impractical thing. And what is it that you need to have in order to get up off the ground? A belief in something that you can imagine, not something you can physically do yet. How does a baby learn to walk? It looks at other people and gives it a try. You understand what I'm saying? What is it in a baby that makes it take more chances than you? You know what I'm saying? You don't think that baby is thinking gonna bust his head? You don't think a little kid on a bike don't think he gonna bust his head coming down the street? coming down a hill and the brakes don't work it happened to me partner but i'm too i'm too balanced man spidey on these games man got that spidey sense on the bike <laughs> but but the thing is you know what i'm saying there's a there's a this we're so naive to failure when we're younger and if you don't hold on to that partner and you don't hold on to that that's the translation in the chips that's how we go from zero to ten and ten to one hundred that's how we go from mom and pop restaurant to Burger King to McDonald's to Subway to now we open it up shop in China. You understand what I mean? It got to be hustle. It got to be somebody who's willing to sit here and plan a little bit further out than most people and say, you know what? I know it sounds stupid, but you know what? Instead of going into this game thinking that I'm going to do one, I'm going into this game thinking I'm, I can, it's possible I can do a hundred. And, and if somebody came up to your boyfriend and said, how are you going to get to a hundred? I got no good idea how I'm going to get there, partner. I just know that that's, that's, that's possible. And how is it possible? Because I see Burger King doing it. Because I see McDonald's doing it. So the blueprint is already in the stone somewhere. I just got to go find that tablet, you dig? I got to go find how to get it done. But it don't mean it can't be done. So let me give you the biggest thing I want you to know about the 0 to 10 cats and the 10 to 20 cats and why it's so hard to get on the ground. The game is set up for it to be hard for us to get up off the ground. It's set up that way. You know what I'm saying? With all this discouraging talk you hear, people say, oh, you know, business people are born that way. Right? Or, you know, you gotta, you know, even I'm telling you, you gotta go with double negative sometimes into this game to get up off the ground. You know, lose your savings and lose your current way of living just to stand up on your own too. You know what I'm saying? It is hard, but the game is set up for it. The game is set up that way. The game is set up for you to go and ask a bank to give you $10,000 
and secure it against your business and once you run if you don't make the business they take all the other stuff and you still have to end up paying them damn that's that's nuts the game is set up that way but they can't compensate for hustle you know what I'm saying? Let me give you a quick story when I came into the game, when I first went into the bank, okay? And you probably heard me say this on an earlier podcast, but it's worth repeating. I came into the to the Washington Mutual, Jersey City, you know, Journal Square for, for people in Jersey City, you know where I'm at. I came into that to that bank. Used to be a, a black lady in there, so I come in there. She see me depositing my checks, right? I'm coming in with a with a, a, a red LA hat, you know, chilling. Come in there every day, put on put chips in the thing. One time, she was like, you know, Mr. Freeman, give me a second. My bank manager want to come and talk to you. So, some white guy come out the back. You know what I'm saying? And and I'm looking like, oh, man, here we go. This cat about to give me a hard time about you. I think he think I'm pushing dope. I don't got no time for this. So, the dude came and sat down with me. You know, how you doing, Mr. Freeman? I'm like, cool. And I said, you know what? Before we start, man, I don't got no time for no cracker shit. I'm sorry about that. I didn't mean to curse, but... That's exactly what I told him. I don't got time for, for white people not believing in me. I don't got time for that. We about our chips. I got to get my stuff ready to go. I don't got no time for no cracker stuff, partner. You know what I'm saying? So he sat down and started laughing. He said, no, I'm not. I just wanted to understand how you do it, how we can help each other. How, you know what I'm saying? I can help you make more money. Now, I came into that same bank putting my little bank, my check from my regular job in there. He ain't never came out from behind that door, partner. You know what I'm saying? Only when I had chips in my pocket did this cat come over there telling me how the bank can make more money for me. But when I had my regular 9 to 5, when I had that regular check, he didn't come out there worth a damn, partner. This is what I'm telling you. The game is cold. The game is hard. But we got the remedy, partner. We got that hustle. Don't believe all the rest of these ignorant, these ignorant people that come around here telling you that it's impossible because they don't see it. You know what I'm saying? Don't believe how it is hard, homie, but we built for it. Like I keep telling you, we built for this game. We built for it. Don't let them tell us. You know what I'm saying? That that oh, you know, one out of one out of four blacks are gonna be dead or chill. <laughs> one out of, you know, ten out of so and so. You know what I'm saying? You listening to a egghead who ain't never lived it. Who ain't never walked down these Compton streets, partner. You know what I'm saying? They don't know really what's going on. He over here looking at crime statistics telling me how bad the neighborhood is because somebody got robbed or somebody got shot 31 times in Atlanta. You dig? When you know that if someone got shot 31 times, if you if you from where I'm from, you know 31 times is vengeance. 31 times ain't for your purse, partner. You dig? It ain't the craziness. Otherwise, they would call in the National Guard if people just get popped and the whole clip unloaded in them. What I'm trying to tell you is zero to ten, where we are, where you happen to be. It don't have to be from zero, meaning Compton, to, you know what I'm saying, from the streets to the suites kind of thing. I don't want you to think about that. I want you to remember zero, meaning that we don't got no one in this game who's really going to help us. We got we got no way of turning our 1000 at a when it's only going to give us $30. We have no way of turning that over fast. This is why in the very beginning I said, you got to admire the cats. I'm not telling you to admire me. I'm a quiet cat, man. See me at the beach, partner, throwing up the W. I don't care. You know what I'm saying? But what I'm trying to tell you is they had to win a hundred times. You know how many things had to break right for me? You understand what I mean? To be sitting here jaw jacking with y'all on a daily basis every Monday. You know how many things had to break the right way? How many risks I had to take? You know what I'm saying? I had cats coming into me in New York thinking they're going to come take my money from me. You know what I'm saying? Like that's, that's really going down. They must have watched too many, too many John Wayne movies. You dig? Thinking they're going to show up in my, on my stoop and not get patted down them stairs. If you understand what I'm saying. If not, one to grow on. But, the, you know what I'm saying? They must have really thought I was playing. So we, we got, we at the bottom of the barrel with a million other people trying to get up. That's obstacle number one. We got a bank who doesn't want to give us any chips because they say we're not credit worthy and they don't trust us. That's obstacle number two. We got a whole bunch of cats who, who 
who, because they got a, a simple job at the post office telling us to abandon our dreams of big empire chips because, look, I'm doing good, man. You know, Freeman, check me out. I got the new, the new uh, Thunderbird. You know what I'm saying? Kinda, not, to, not to jump on them. But we, you know what I'm saying? If you got a little bit of hustle in you, then, then life got to be bigger than the new Dodge Charger or the new Chevy Camaro. It got to be bigger, partner. You understand what I'm saying? So what I want you to always remember is we got a lot of obstacles in the game coming from the bottom zero to ten. Our money don't maximize like it like everybody else does. You know what I'm saying? We got real problems, partner, because if you got kids and you got a mother to take care of, you got family you got to tend after because you're the strongest, you're the alpha male in your in your family, you got to look out for everybody else. And that's a dwindle on your chips. It's a, it's a dwindle on your time. It's a dwindle on your thinking. It diminishes. It takes us a little bit from us. We got all these problems, you know what I'm saying, to get up from the bottom. But, but like I always say, and I ain't no real religious cat if you know me, you know what I'm saying, but God gave us the remedy, partner, and that is we hustle harder than them and that's why they want us in their company that's why they want to do a deal with puffy because puffy gonna make a way out of no way you understand what i'm saying these corny old cornball cats who believe these books a hundred percent but never put their feet on the ground you know what i'm saying and never put their their finger up in the air and you know what I mean? Taste it, what the weather would be like, like my, my, my Native American brothers. You know what I'm saying? They could predict things because they feel them. And that's, that's a God-given talent, partner. Don't let the fact that you went to school and you read these books take that hustle away. Because you're going to be like the rest of these fools. Coming into the game, going to work every day. Jawjacking about how they, they live the American dream. You know what I'm saying? How can a, a 5,000 square foot lot of land be the American dream? I mean, how is that the American dream? So your kid can get out and buy another 5,000 square foot lot of land? That don't sound like a dream to me. That sound like, you know, a uh, uh, head down thumbs up when you were a little kid and you might have dozed off in the middle of the game and you only had one, one little narcoleptic nap, you dig? <laughs> What I'm trying to tell you is 0 to 10. Don't let the numbers mess with your hustle. Don't let the information and the education deter you from what we are supposed to be, what we were built to win with. You understand what I'm saying? Not to be second place like the rest of these cats. Not to duck and cover like the rest of these cats. Not to hope and pray that Obama saved the economy like the rest of these cats. We are built for this. That's why they're scared of us. They're not scared because you're a tall black man and you're bigger than most people. They're scared because they know that your reaction might be their doom. And if you don't tap into that strength when we get out here and stop walking around like a coward and stop being scared and stop smiling like that people because you want them to be okay with us. God built us a certain way. Every last one of us, homie, don't give up on yourself. You got three kids, you know what I'm saying? I was raised single parent in the middle of Compton, people getting shot at. Uh, we got a whole big family. We made it through. We all went to college. Sounds impossible, don't it? But what do I got? What do I stress? What do I always say we got? That's why I don't get caught up in the cats who say, I went to so-and-so school. I went to this. I went to that. They do not have a way of quantifying the hustle, of quantifying that knack, that will, that get up and go. So to wrap this all up, because I'm pushing a little bit too long on these podcasts, I apologize if, I'm, if it's getting too long-winded for some of you cats, but 0 to 10 is harder. Accept it. But you know it because you see it. Every day you walk out on these streets, partner, and you wonder why your neighborhood ain't getting better. Because nobody putting no money in there. We're going to have to do it organically, partner. You understand what I'm saying? And when we do it organically, we don't have to break bread with people who didn't believe in us. Like the rest of these suckers. That's what they learn in college. You know what I'm saying? When I get up there, I'm going to go ahead and make a deal and I'm going to sell my company. No, nah, we don't have to do that. You understand what I'm saying? We make our own ammo on this side, partner. You know what I'm saying? And it is a problem. Because I know you were shortcutting me. I know you didn't want to help me get out of my situation. But when you read these books and when you go to school and you learn this 11 through 20 thinking, you understand what I'm saying? You end up 
fitting into where they want you to fit into. You worrying about all kind of other things that don't even stop you from making your basic chips. So think about that as I move forward. Not as I move forward, because I'm going to keep moving forward, partner. Sorry about that. Think about that as we move forward. You understand what I mean? As your thinking increase, as your, as your fear level into this game decrease. You know what I'm saying? Think about these things as we move forward. Because I did not come here to make sure y'all are okay. You understand what I mean? And y'all had all this knowledge and everybody sitting there. Otherwise, you acting like the egghead who can analyze the diagram. We know all the problems. We know what's going to happen if we get on the bike. But you fail to get on and pedal. You know what I'm saying? Let me give you the, the biggest thing to grow on as we I really take it all out of here. I ran into a fire hydrant, partner. You know what I'm saying? I lost a, a good chunk of my friends trying to get up from the bottom. You know what I'm saying? Um, I can't go home sometimes because of some of the violence that's, that's popping. You know what I'm saying? I'm a young man in this game. I've been to many cities, many places, but I slept on the mattresses with, with, with mice running by my head. I could have stopped. I could have stopped in Philadelphia and been over there in Philly. I could have stopped. I could have went and got my law degree. I got my law degree. Went and became a lawyer and been a lawyer in, in Pennsylvania. I could have stopped. I could have went to New York. I was doing good up in New York. Cats offering me 100 G's and a Cadillac. You know what I'm saying? And a nice spot over in the middle of Manhattan. I could have stopped. I want you to know that on the way to getting up from that 0 to 10, you're going to pass up opportunities. You're going to be hit with plenty of L's in this life. L's meaning losses, homie. Losses from family, losses from friends, losses from relationships, losses of money. You know what I'm saying? But that's why I said 0 to 10 is greater. The greater part of it, 0 to 10 is harder than 11 to 20. But 0 to 10, because the people who come from 0 to 10 are usually greater than the cats at 11 through 20. They're greater men. Greater in spirit. Greater in the fight. You understand what I'm saying? So you wanted them zero to ten cats and we got that story in us of not knowing how to do it, but we do it. You know what I'm saying? And and the biggest phrase I can give you that I always love to say to myself in the morning, you know, I'm going to go out here and do God's work. And what God's work is, man, is the ability to take nothing and turn it into something. So why don't you get up today? Let's do God's work. You're greater than that. Zero to ten is greater than eleven through twenty. But the greater is that we're, we're built for this. So let's go take it and, and claim it for ourselves. Next time, partner.